This is a case of a two-year-old male castrated dog who presented to his veterinarian for a small pea-ish to dime-sized mass on his back, kind of near his shoulder. And the veterinarian was taking a look at it, was looking over the records, and saw that this dog had just been in about two weeks ago for a vaccine. And they thought, oh, well, I don't know if this is related or not. Let's go ahead and take a look and do an FNA. So that's what they did, and that's what we're looking at here. You can see here that there's a bunch of inflammation, predominated by small lymphocytes. And we've got a bunch of small lymphocytes down here, a couple uh, neutrophils, and then this macrophage right here. So mixed inflammation, but a predominance of small lymphocytes. That's not specific, but it does make us suspicious of something in particular. In this macrophage, you can also see there's kind of some purpley material in there. And it's like, what is that? Let's take another look at another cell that has that material. So here's another macrophage that has that purpley material inside. And the question is, what is that? You might be thinking, is that a mast cell? But mast cells actually have dark purple granules that are very uniform in size. This, on the other hand, is more pinkish, it's a little more amorphous, different sizes. So what is this? Well, we've got this mixed inflammatory population and a dog that was recently vaccinated, this is adjuvant. That is what that pink stuff is. So this all fits really nicely with a vaccine hypersensitivity reaction. They oftentimes have mixed inflammation with a predominance of small lymphocytes, not always, but a lot of times they do. So this all fits really nicely and this is gonna go away